Today we're going to take a look at the Hyperbase RB2 2TB retro gaming PC hard drive. Its claim to fame is that it includes 100,000 retro games. There are 105 different emulators and getting it up and running is a breeze. In this video, we'll set it up and of course check out several games. I'm John and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. This drive was sent to me for the purpose of review, and I think it originated from China. Uh, it's called the J Machin Machin Hyperbase RB2 2 terabyte hard drive. I'll include links in the video description below if you want to pick one up for yourself. They indicate it has over 100,000 games pre-installed, and the setup process is quite easy. There is about 95 gigabytes free on the drive in case you want to add your own games. However, with as many games that are pre-installed, you'll likely find that they're already available. You will need a Windows 8.1 or higher 64-bit operating system in order to use this drive. If you're a Linux or a Mac user, they also have the LB2 and BC2 version for those operating systems as well. The drive has a USB 3.0 Type-A mail cable for easily connecting it to your PC or laptop. Here's a close-up of the drive information if interested. It also includes this USB Type-A to USB Type-C adapter if you prefer to use USB-C. Obviously, to play some of the newer consoles such as N64, Wii, and PS2, you'll need a relatively powerful PC. The PC I'm using here I picked up a year ago and has performed well with this drive. We'll go ahead and connect the drive to this USB 3.0 hub, plug in the keyboard, mouse, and controller, and switch to my video capture so you can get a closer look. With the drive installed, the drive letter E was assigned, which may vary on your PC. The README First document is basically the same information from the included printed user's manual. There is a DirectX repair folder and executable which will check your system for any missing DirectX drivers that may be needed and install them for you. Earlier I mentioned there was around 95 gigabytes free on the drive to add your own games. You also have complete access to the BIOS files. Some have asked on prior videos if they can copy these files to a Raspberry Pi or a retro gaming handheld, and the answer is yes, you can. The same is also true for the games or ROM files on the drive. Next, I'll navigate to the RetroBat folder, right-click on the RetroBat.exe, and send the shortcut to my desktop for easier launching. Now, let's go ahead and check out their intro. The drive utilizes RetroBat and with non-admin Windows accounts. You may want to review that section in the documentation. When launched, the first category we see is the All Games category, which proudly indicates there are 100,346 games. Although if we switch over to the Arcade category, we begin to see something very interesting. If we page through the list of games, you'll find a large number of duplicates. So while the arcade category indicates there are 39,158 games, those numbers are greatly inflated by duplicates. Some of the duplicates are hacks, bootlegs, and slight variations. This can also sometimes make it difficult to find the exact version of the game you want to play. I'll show you a couple of ways you can more easily navigate to the game you want to play. If you press select on the controller, you can select the first letter of the game under the jump to letter section. From there, you will jump to the games that begin with that letter, which can be helpful. In this case, we'll quickly check out an all-time favorite, Galaga. Press select to insert a credit and start to start the game. A number of older games, such as Galaga, require samples for some of the audio effects. Fortunately, those samples are included, as you'll hear when my ship is destroyed. Another way you can navigate the list is to, again, press the Select button, select Filter Games by Text, and enter some text from the game you're looking for, such as this for Ms. Pac-Man. Again, there are many duplicates. You can also use the L1 and R1 buttons on the controller to page through the list. 
let's briefly check it out while we're here. There are additional categories that exist, which seem to attempt to logically organize the game, such as 450 games listed under the light gun games. There are also categories for never played, last played, vertical arcade, though when you get down to categories such as Atari, it only shows two games, which is a bit pointless. And uh, under Cinematronics, we see Dirt for some reason. Uh, Data East only shows four games, which is again very odd and pointless. It's not until you scroll down to the actual systems and consoles where you get a good idea of the number of collections for each system. And yes, you will find more duplicates here, although many of the game lists do appear complete or nearly complete for the most part, but of course not for all the systems. One more additional point I'd like to mention. You aren't limited to the one theme. If you press start on the controller and select updates and downloads, then themes, you can download additional themes to try out. Then under the UI settings, you can assign the theme and find one you like. We'll take a quick look at the ES theme Batocera Club Reloaded theme. I think it looks rather nice. There are many other useful functions available after pressing the start button, such as quit for exiting emulation station. But now, let's jump into more of the gameplay so you can get a good idea of the type of games that you can play from this drive. Oh! 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 Oh!
passes. O'Neal pops it up from nine. It's blocked. It. Shaquille O'Neal takes the turnaround J. Gets it to fall. Good defense on the earlier block, but it didn't pay off. His forte is in shooting, and so was a crapshoot on that one. His number came up. He makes the basket. That's called being a player. Just under three minutes here in the first quarter. Pass right wing. Watch the screen. It's going inside. Kid stepped on the line, and they'll give the ball up. He just lost concentration, didn't keep track of his feet, and then lost it out of bounds. He's got to keep his mind in the game, Bob. Ready, go! 
Well, that brings us to the end of another video. The Hyperbase RB2 is a great way to get started with retro game emulation on your PC. Yes, there are some categories that aren't necessary, but it's like having a retro gaming museum on your computer. While there are a large number of duplicate games, I'll place a link in the description below for the full game list so you can check it and see if the exact games you want to play are on this drive. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button, ring the bell, and you know, all that other stuff that us YouTubers always say at the end of our videos. At any rate, I look forward to talking with you again very soon. Oh!